the one thing we notice is my x is now squared. So now my graph goes up or down. And I write these little arrows in there because I, just like you, will forget. I'll totally forget what I'm doing, you know, especially if you're taking a test. You have so many things. You have so much pressure and everything going on. So once I know something, I'll just sketch it in there so I don't forget. Now, the next thing I want to do is find my vertex. I know h is always with x and k is always with y. So it's the opposite. So in this case, it's at 1 half comma 1 half. So we'll just put it right there. Okay. Now, the next thing is I've got to find my p. So focus, I'm sorry, p for p is equal to negative 2. Based on my formula, it still has the same coefficient. 4p is equal to negative 2. I divide by 4, divide by 4. p is equal to a negative 1 half. So if my graph opens up or down, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. If it's negative, should I go down or should I go up? Down. So my focus is going to be down 1 half. I already went up 1 half. So it's at 1 half 0. Then my directrix is going to be 1 half in the opposite direction, right? Because it's opposite direction. Yes? So here's the vertex is at 1 half comma 1 half. If you go down 1 half, because the parabola opens up or down. So if you're going down 1 half and you're already up 1 half, then you're going to be at 0. But you're still over 1 half. So you're at 1 half comma 0. Yes? So I didn't, I'll, it's the opposite. It's going to be, I'll show, I, I didn't update this for the vertical. I'll show that to you guys in a second. That's what I'm saying. I don't really care to like memorize those, but I'll show you guys those in a second. Yes? So, yes, but we're going up or down. So we're going up or down. So up or down, you're adding to your k, which is 1 half. So if you're subtracting 1 half from 1 half, you get 0. I'll explain something in just a second I think might help. Yes? Right. It's y minus 1 half. So k is 1 half. It's y minus k. Y minus 1 half. 1 half is k. I was explaining to them how that works. I'll, I'll do another, I'll show you another example of that in a second. So to wrap up this problem, I just need to find the vertex or the directrix, which is going to be 1 half in the opposite direction. Which, what I want you guys to understand is now we have a horizontal line. So Brian, that's very important because last time our directrix were vertical lines. So we said x equaled h, so forth. Now it's going to be y equals 1. Okay. So I didn't show you guys these formulas um, for